Hi, my name is Frederick Fortier. I'm a software engineer at Enigma. This is part two of our video tutorial on running a strategy in Catalyst. If you want to understand the details of the strategy which we will run today, please refer to part one of our tutorial, which is on backtesting. In the backtesting tutorial, we go over the details of the strategy including the business logic used for trading. The same strategy can be used for backtesting and live trading. This is useful because backtesting allows to create the strategy and see how it performs with historical data. This particular strategy uses the RSI technical indicator to determine when to enter or exit a position. In order to increase our chances of getting a buy signal in a relatively short time frame, we'll modify the RSI oversold value from 30 to 35. Since we're trading against Bittrex, we're going to the Bittrex client and modifying the parameters of the graph to match the parameters of our strategy. Doing this allows us to view the Bittrex client side by side with Catalyst to have a more visual way to follow the action. Going back to Catalyst, we can visualize the parameters which allows us to run the algorithm. For the purpose of this demo, we will change our base currency from US dollars to Ether. Adjusting our capital base to 0.5 means that the strategy will only trade 0.5 Ether. Capital base is an optional value in live mode. If not specified, the strategy uses the amount of base currency available in the associated exchange wallet. Before running the strategy, we'll take a step back and take a look at the auth.json file associated with the Bittrex exchange. This file must exist and must contain a valid API key for the targeted exchange. The process of creating an API key differs for each exchange. I won't cover it in this video. Going back to the run algorithm interface, we ensure that the selected exchange name is Bittrex, that the live flag is set to true, and that the base currency is ETH for Ether. We no longer require the start and end parameters because the algorithm will run in real time. Setting the mode constant to live will ensure that the correct run algorithm interface is invoked. Now let's run the strategy. I will show the Bittrex client next to the Catalyst output so that we can visually monitor things. For example, we can look at the RSI graph of Bittrex to see how close we are to hitting our signals. See that the Catalyst output and the Bittrex graph show that the, 30, the RSI ranges are around 36 at the moment. I will fast forward the video until the RSI goes below 35 at which point Catalyst should issue a buy order. Okay, so take a look at this bar and observe that the RSI is now 30, almost 31, which is under 35. And the log says that Catalyst created a buy order. We also just observed a notification on the Bittrex client confirming that the order was filled. In Catalyst, a transaction is applied to the totals in the following bar. So we see here that the bar shows our order, but not yet our transaction. Since Bittrex confirmed that a transaction was processed, the next bar should show one transaction. Let's wait for it to ensure that Catalyst applies it correctly. Okay, so here it is. We can see it written in the logs and we can also see that our number of transactions is now one and there's detail about the amount of the transaction next to it. 
Now if we go back to Bittrex and confirm that the transaction was processed, we can see it here and confirm that the units filled amount is the same for both Catalyst and Bittrex. This concludes the video. If you need more information, please visit our website to, for access to our full documentation or join our Discord channel to chat with us and other users of Catalyst.